What's up, people? It's another Meatless, Eatless, Mental Mushroom Monday. I'm your host of Low Tech Health. Let ourselves translate expert knowledge. Brad Burns, how you doing? How you doing today? I tell you how I'm doing. I remember to, to be meatless. I had beans, beans and rice, black beans. And I remember the ginger. Yay! Way to go, everybody. Way to go. We had a good night. We had a good night because Brad remembered the beans. I want to talk today about pain, I guess. I've started doing this weird kind of thing that um, when I go to sleep in the day, because I work nights, <laughs> I it's kind of crazy. This is the mental mushroom part, I guess. Uh, well, mental. No, no mushrooms involved. <laughs> Just uh, oyster mushrooms. Ayy. I do this thing where I don't know if I'm gonna wake up. I don't. I thought try. We 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 for, we're so afraid of death. We're all so afraid of death. But we tend to just go to sleep like it's no big deal. Like, like, what what are you doing? You you just fall asleep, and you don't remember what happens. Maybe you have dreams. Like, what what are dreams? What is this consciousness? What what is happening? You're going to sleep and you're waking up. I. Six minutes could have passed. An hour could have passed. You fall asleep and you have these dreams of these whole lives. But we don't know exactly how it's getting reset. We're just going to sleep and trusting that we'll wake up. So decided to practice this daily, nightly, evening, hour of sleep meditation. Where I consider what happens. what would happen if I didn't wake up. We all have regrets. We all have things that we wish we had done. I don't want to go to sleep with those. I want to be able to go to sleep knowing that I would be okay with not waking up, with dying, dying. That's right. I said it. With dying while I go to sleep, which nobody wants to die, of course. We all want to live forever, but we won't. But we go to sleep and we're cool with it. I just want to try to practice being okay with it. Because when we go to sleep, it's very important. They're finding more and more that recovery and health depends heavily on how well you sleep, which working night shift, I'm I'm not doing my myself well. My telomeres just just shrinking, they're just shriveling right up. Which I try to offset by wearing these blue blockers, blocking that blue light, resetting my circadian rhythm, keeping my cortisol from sp- Biking to wake up. Also getting the sauna pretty regularly, which reduces your all-cause mortality by like 40% if you do it three to four times a week, which is awesome. Turn us into mutants, getting in there, activating heat shock proteins, and ah, getting all the hormones, the dynorphins, and oddly, prolactin is increased in men, like fucking 800%, kind of ridiculous amount. Prolactin is the hormone that helps women produce breast milk men don't create but well they can but they they generally don't what prolactin does for men is help regulate emotions which is great for guys because we're pretty emotional we don't show it but dudes they get so butthurt and they're always like so like mm. They, this, the stoic is what it appears or what people would like to see like they're acting but they're acting so sensitive, and you can tell because like things will get to them, like weird egoistical attacks on their nature of machismo, which is bullshit. Like these people, they're, you're not, a, you're not macho. You're just not. I swear, none of us are. We, we use, we use toothbrushes. We brush our teeth. We take shits and wipe with like cotton, and we have preferences on what type of toilet paper we have oh is it not is it half ply oh I, I just don't want to use i don't want to use the bathroom out in public but meanwhile this guy's trying to act like he's the hunter gatherer that is able to provide for a family like dude you you're buying toilet paper at the fucking store like all of us you're not you're not a tough tough guy i promise in fact if you had the option to have a bidet i'm sure you would who wouldn't who in their right mind, is trying to clean up peanut butter out of a carpet with just a dry rag. Nobody does that. You're going to get some water involved. You're you're gonna. I think 2020 is the year that bidets will be in every household. I'd like to make that a thing. I'd like to, if it's fine being known as Brad better than a bidet burns, I'm fine with it. It'd be great. So yeah, what does this have to do with being meatless and eating less? Well, 
that's also something they found increases longevity is eating a little bit less caloric intake restrictions really help prevent the breakdown and creation of cancer cells in the body eating less intermittent fasting which is where you just eat within an eight hour period which is basically skipping breakfast which is it works if you get enough food in in the eight hour span and you're not adding a bunch of deleterious things to your body like smoke or sugar and sugar drinks because that's technically eating it's not great for you and um does it have to do with mushrooms well i guess they're they're um there are little decomposers of the uh, natural world. Without them, we wouldn't. We'd be stifled by uh, by nitrogen and all the breaking down of trees that weren't able to be digested. Because mushrooms live a little bit more like us than we do like plants. They eat the plant. They eat the broken down trees, and our little bacteria outnumber us ten to one. Our little buggies. So. When we die, they decompose us and they eat us entirely. So, but you got to feed them. You got to keep them happy while we're alive. And so, when this edition of Meatless Eatless Mental Mushroom Monday, I encourage you to try to eat a little less if you can. Try to go meatless every once in a while. I was a vegetarian for six years and I liked it, but I didn't stick with it. It's not for everyone. I like to eat meat. But it has infected me, and I've been able to realize you don't have to eat meat every day. It's something that's kind of tricky for most men, especially to get in the area I'm from. But it helps, and it's a nice little mental hack for productivity. It's keeping your mind straight and not eating. Well, processed foods, that's the biggest one. So with that, I'll leave you on this meatless, eatless, mental mushroom Mondays. Practice some kind of productivity hack. Give yourself a little mind stress and you'll be happier for it. Whether it be in the sauna, whether it be going to sleep. Thinking you may never wake up like a crazy fucking guy like me. Or a crazy gal. Or a crazy, um, you know, gender neutral, non-cis piece of shit like me. I'm not, I mean, or wait, I'm a cis piece of shit. I, I, I can't get it straight. I know. Oh, well, straight, that's the thing. White, straight, male. It's, it's, it's a lot for me to take into. And... I'm I'm fine. I'm fine with people doing whatever they want to do. I want to make them happy. It's a it's a stressful life enough having to deal with the real things. So I I don't think we should make problems where people are trying to express themselves. And with all that sticking my foot in my mouth, I end this meatless eatless mental mushroom Monday. Thank you for tuning in. See you tomorrow.